Welcome again. This video will help you a lot to understand how to read schematics and of course fix motherboard failures very fast. So this schematic as you can see is for Dell Inspiron 5720 and 7720 you will find the link you will find this schematic in a PDF format in my Patreon. All links in the description. So please pay attention. I'm going to teach you how circuit in motherboard works and how voltage travel from the beginning to the output or from the input to the output. So here we have a 3.3 volt channel. Guys, if you understand just one channel, you can understand all circuits in the motherboard. All circuits, you're gonna find the control IC. Do you see here? We have the control IC. You will find two voltage regulators or two MOSFETs. And of course, in the output, we have coil, we have PL4, and we have capacitors to filter the current. We have here a ceramic capacitor and here we have an electrolytic capacitor and here we have the output 3.3 volt. The same for this channel also for 5 volt. As you can see here we have 5 volt always. I'm going to teach you some tips and tricks that you can hear for the first time. So make sure to stay tuned and do not miss any moment in this video. So for the 5 volt channel also we have the IC, always the control IC, we have here P, PU always, as I told you before, PU or U are the reference for the IC. And Q or PQ are for MOSFET and of course we have PL or L for coil, PC or C for capacitor and so on. The control I see in this circuit is basically TPS51125. This is a 3 volt, 5 volt control I see. And of course, you know that the 3 volt and 5 volt are two main voltages in the motherboard based on these two voltages, other voltages are generated. Okay, so for the, the 5 volt that we're gonna study, of course, we're gonna study the voltage from the beginning here, from the input, we have power SRC as you can see until the output. You know power SRC is the B plus, the main voltage coming from adapter or the battery. Okay, so let's begin with this circuit over here for 3 volt and 5 volt circuit. So we have the input voltage power SRC or B plus. Let's assume for example that this power is 19 volt. So it will be passed first through these three ceramic capacitors. That's why in every motherboard, every input, you're gonna find some ceramic capacitors. It could be three or four or more. So here we have ceramic capacitors that are connected to the ground in one side and to the B plus or power SRC power rail in the other side. So it will pass through, the 90 volt will pass here through these capacitors. Basically the purpose of this capacitor is to eliminate the noise and to filter the current. And then it will be present here in the drain of this MOSFET as you can see. Do you see? In the drain of this MOSFET. So the 19 volt will still remain here until the MOSFET get do what get the control signal from the control IC from the TPS 51125. Here we have do this is basically the higher MOSFET and this is the lower MOSFET. That's why here we have drive high for this MOSFET and for this one we have drive low as you can see. So once these two MOSFETs receive the control signal from the IC here from PU4, then the 19 volt will be transformed, will be passed to the other side. But in the other side, we will not get the same voltage here. No, we will get the output. We will get 3.3 volt. Okay, we will get 3.3 volt because here the gate or the control signal is the IC that determine the amount of voltage and current 
that should pass to this side. So, okay, the side, we call it basically the phase or the LX side. So the 3.3 volt will go in this direction and also in this direction. So in this direction, it will be passed through our inductor or coil. We have PL4 and then through these capacitors. Why capacitors? In order to smooth and to filter the current in order to get a pure 3.3 volt always in the output okay and also why it will pass in this side so in this side basically this is the phase or we called it to uh, to know about the ic want to know about the output is it accurate is it correct or not so once the IC receive that 3.3 volt is generated, so good, that's good, okay? But let's assume, for example, that we didn't get here 3.3 volt. We get, for example, 4 volt. So this is a problem. So the IC, we know, do you see here? We have 3.3 volt LX. The IC, we know that the voltage is 4 volt, not 3.3 volt. So this is an over voltage. So the IC will adjust the drive high signal. Do you see here? It will adjust then the drive high signal to this compound and also the drive low signal to this MOSFET in order to eliminate the extra voltage and get 3.3 volt. By the way, if you are interested in PCBs, or printed circuit boards, it's a must to understand how components are connected within a motherboard and also the structure of component. For example, for the MOSFET, it has the drain four pins, uh, the source three pins, the gate connected with the control IC, etc. Please, before diving into the course, we'd like to give a huge thank you to the sponsor for this video, PCBWay. PCBWay offers many services ranging from PCB production and assembly to 3D printing and a variety of materials. CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and more. PCBWay makes it easy to get custom parts for your project. And if you don't like to work a lot with a soldering iron, they can even assemble your PCBs for you. That's the PCB way. Now back to the video. Now I'm going to teach you the most common failed component here in this channel. Okay, but stay tuned. Let's first study also this channel for 5 volt and day and then go to the next step and see the common failed component and the most components that we find shorted in this third channel okay so here also as you can see we have power is rc the same input okay the same input here as you can see we have it here so if for example this voltage is missing for this channel the same also this channel also will be uh, uh will not work okay so we have the same voltage or, or if we have for example any shorted capacitor here the two channels will will have the same problem means the power is rc or the b plus or the 19 volt will be missed okay so the same here basically the, this voltage let's see let's highlight a little bit this voltage because this is an important voltage the power is rc will pass through this capacitors in order to uh, to eliminate the noise and to filter the current the first step basically we have other capacitors here here that will smooth the current so it will pass here in this direction will be present here in this mosfet bq19 okay bq19 will receive the drive high as you can see do you see guys we have here drive high it will be applied to this mosfet without this control signal the mosfet will not be open will not work will not be in working state in the same time guys in the same time the ic will generate the drive high and also the, the drive low for what for the signal mosfet 
you see in the center here many of you will ask what is exactly the purpose of the signal MOSFET? Basically, here the signal MOSFET is connected to the ground. Do you see? Here we have the ground. Why also this MOSFET has as a purpose to eliminate the extra voltage and extra residual current. Okay? So once these two MOSFETs receive control signal from PU14 from the control I see here, okay? then the voltage will pass from this side to this side okay and then we will get here the voltage that we have to get here into output basically is as you can see here 5 volt we call it 5 volt always so the 5 volt will pass through this induction the induction basically pl1 here we have pl1 has as a purpose what is the purpose of inductor guys uh, sorry, in the comment below, tell me please what is the purpose of the coil in the circuit? I need more question, more answer. I need your answer in the comment and after I will put the right answer in the first comment and I will pin the comment. Okay guys, so the voltage will pass through this inductor and through this, as you can see, through this capacitor, you see this is a thermal capacitor over here and here we have PC106, this is basically with the characteristics of, as you can see over here, 220 microfarad 6.3 volt note that always the voltage here for capacitor should be, should be always higher than voltage in the output always because if the voltage is is not higher than the output the capacitor will be damaged okay so this is basically for to smooth the current to make a pure voltage and we will get a 5 volt. The same guys here we have another part we called it the 5 volt LX or the phase that will go in the opposite uh, direction to the IC. Here the IC make sure if the right voltage is generated or not. If the voltage is higher or lower the IC will uh, adjust the Control signals means the drive high and the drive low sent to this two voltage regulator in order to get the accurate voltage. So basically, guys, here what is the component? The most failed component, of course, here what we have. Let's go for example to, to a three volt, five volt circuit because in order to, to highlight a little bit the component that are mostly failed here guys what we have do you see we have ic we have many resistors some capacitors mosfets etc okay but the most failed component in this kind of circuit are the ic the first component is the ic okay why the ic because the ic is the most component that that manage the whole operations in this circuit okay then we have these two mosfets basically the, the, the lower mosfet usually uh, uh, be shorted when you get a short in this circuit 3 volt 5 volt circuit or other circuit because the working principle is always the same also for cpu circuit for ram circuits etc if you have for example if you have a short circuit here go and check the second mosfet not this one this one why because it is connected to the ground check this capacitor and this capacitor why because sorry because these two are also connected to the ground as you can see okay so the, these two capacitors the the mosfet the lower mosfet and the ic why the ic do you see the ic also is connected to the ground directly directly here we have ground here and also here we have ground as you can see we have the digital ground and analog ground so this is for short but those also also please those also means all component connected to the ground could be shorted okay but the most and based on my i mean based on my experience the most common failed component in this circuit is the ic 
and this MOSFET, the signal MOSFET over here, okay, I see the lower MOSFET and this capacitor, the electrolytic capacitor, and sometimes you can find also those capacitors in the input. So guys, thank you very much. I hope that you understand a little bit about how circuits uh, work, uh, about circuits and how to read circuits in laptop motherboards. Please don't forget the like. Your likes really motivate me to create more videos for you. Share and subscribe. And of course, for anyone who wants to join me in my Patreon page, you are very welcome. I can be your mentor and get my number and I can assist you one-on-one -on -one with any problem, any hardware problem you have until you fix it. And of course, don't forget to comment. I always do my best to answer all comments. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.